Hi everyone, what is up? Hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. I went back again at Bath & Body Works because I am crazy. No, I'm just, I'm just taking advantage of the deal. Um, it's their semi-annual sale after Christmas. Lesson learned, I wish I just went after Christmas because I feel like it is better and I feel like it's even cheaper. I mean, some of the products are, but not everything, if you know what I mean. So some of the products are 75% off and some are 50% off. Now you guys don't need to punch each other over there because most of the stores are fully stocked. I swear, I don't understand how come like online they're like, you know, sold out this and that drama. But when you go to the store, it's like super, super stocked. So I think it's because they don't want to pay for shipping, but that's just, you know. So anyway, I got single wick candles this time, which I am already thankful and happy about i know some of my friends i saw they're on their snap and they're like they're like a lot it kind of looks like they're about to sell bath and body works but let me show you the candles they're 60 uh, six dollars each regular price is 14 dollars and 50 cents the first scent that i got is the white tea and sage i really like this one because when i smelt it i felt like i was in a spa you know one of those places where you can just relax and get a massage or like something that I would smell in a resort basically, like a resort spa. That's what I um, think of it. Now, the problem with the single wick candles is that it's not that they suck, it's just that they don't completely, you know, you can't really like 100% completely finish this up. And it happened to me so many times, but then again, like, I don't want to buy they have like the three wick candles i don't want to buy that i know it's good it's a good deal too it's like 11 dollars. but then again like i wanted three and that's gonna be 30 dollars compared to like the fraction of price so i wish i got more single wick candles but again i don't want to look like a hoarder besides johnny doesn't even want me to play with candles and then i have the peppermint marshmallow i wish i have the fragrance version of this one because this one smells heavenly like it is sweet it has a little bit of the sweet smell comes first and then the peppermint effect comes second so it's just that right combination and um i'm not used to be a fan of like candles really um miss constance our realtor is actually the one that introduced me to candles because she has like 1 million candles in her house <laughs> it's insane but she does have like a lot of candles and then when we moved she gave us a gift basket and there are candles over there and from then on there's no going back it's just a thing you know and then i have the of course i have the twisted peppermint and then this one i have the body spray of this one i just love it i feel like Oh my gosh. One of the things that I learned when it comes to Bath & Body Works fragrances, like don't buy the second, you know, scent twice because you will never finish that. Not unless like, how do you even spray? Like, do you spray even if you're at home? Sometimes I do though, I must admit, but like, mm, girl, Twisted Peppermint, I love it. I'm gonna finish this like really, really quickly, but I got three and I know that they're gonna have another sale going on, but uh, I, I'm gonna try not to be like that crazy girl because again, <laughs> I have other stuff to pay for and then I also have the twisted peppermint gentle foaming hand soap I believe this one I got this for like six dollars I can't see anymore but this is also 50% off I believe so that's that I really like this one because I have always been a fan of their hand soaps I think they smell really really nice there is vitamin E shea extract aloe and essential oils I love the scent of this one and I can't wait to try it out put that over there now we're gonna move on to the next bag and here <laughs> I don't understand the fact like why wouldn't I get some lotions like I need those so here I got the white pumpkin and chai some of the fragrances are six dollars and some of them are like three dollars and 75 something like that but this one smells like a pie and I absolutely really love it it smells like a dessert i love this one now the packaging of this one is kind of cute as well not gonna lie like there's 
it's kind of like a festive fragrance i love it and then i feel like this is definitely like one of my favorite fragrances of all time and this is the lily and green tea just so because it smells really really clean now <laughs> I thought my favorite is like the rose water and ivy. I love that one too. In fact, I got two of those, which like, again, like it's a mistake of mine because I know for a fact that I'll never finish that. So good luck to me. So Lillian green tea. Oh my gosh. I wish I got two of these, but again, I don't want to be like harder. It just smells great. Okay. Oh my gosh. It just smells so great. And, um, hopefully they do not discontinue this because this is going to be I already know that this is going to be my holy grail. So hopefully they do not discontinue. Next, I have the Frosted Coconut Snowball. This one has a little bit, bit of like minty and like very coconutty smell. I love it. You know what this smells? It's not even like, it doesn't smell like Christmas. It smells like vacation. That's what I'm going to put it in. So Frosted Coconut Snowball. There's another coconut over there. I... I'm actually surprised that I didn't buy it, but I want to see how this works on the chemistry of my skin first. And then after that, I'm going to proceed with the other, you know, other coconut stuff that they have. So next I have the Black Raspberry Vanilla. I'm so glad that I saw this in the back of the store because it's not that it's hidden. It's just that it's, it, it is faced on an area where I can't really see it. So it's a good thing that my brother was there like walking around and like, what are you doing? And then he saw, I saw this, you know, like, this is definitely one of my, I can't open it, but you already know, black raspberry vanilla, so good. I like perfumes that are not like so vanilla-y, but this is just the right amount. And there's, I know there's like a um, blueberry over there, but I was like super duper late. I was kind of sad, but it's okay because I got a bunch of stuff. So what am I being sad about? You know what I mean? And then now I'm so happy, guys, that I finally got this one. It is the gingerbread latte. Now, I went to the store that I first shopped and they ran out of this one. And I was also too late with the strawberry, what is that? Strawberry shortcake or something. So I was too late for that. I was sad, but it's okay. Cause I, again, like I have a lot of stuff that I wanted. So that's that. I like this because, you know, when you spray this on your body, I feel like you're going to smell like a snack and your man is going to be like super all over you. And then next, because I was just so desperate with these two cents, but they do not have the full size. I got the Mary cookie, which smells again, like super amazing. I know I can never finish this, but uh, maybe I will, but I'm just so excited for everything to open up again, you know, so I can use these fragrances. And then I like the packaging, it's super cute. Fox on a sweater, come on. And then lastly, hot cocoa and cream. Now this one literally smells like hot cocoa and I freaking love it. During winter season, I'm a hot cocoa type of girl. I do hot cocoa every single night. Literally every single night. And I actually forced John Ray to have hot cocoa with me too. So <laughs> so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment box down below what is your favorite Bath and Body Works fragrance spray. I would love to smell them when I next when I next visit <laughs> when I go to the store in my next visit so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye